If you want to continue to follow our adventure, click subscribe. So you don't miss anything, click the bell notification. Thought I'd pick a rainy day to come out here and talk about some of the dangers that we have uh, witnessed and experienced uh, living out here in the free campsites, boondocking in the national forest, conservation areas, different things like that. So I do apologize for the echo, but I am underneath this pavilion, so I apologize. But it is raining, as you can see. Some of these larger YouTubers keep telling us that the only dangers out there uh, that they really are worried about are bears, mountain lions. And I think I've even heard a couple times rattlesnakes. But as far as everything else, there is no dangers out here. You don't have to worry about it. I think uh, one of them actually said wild dogs is a danger. I, I find that very interesting because we've been living out here for over a year now. And I haven't witnessed any of those things. Well, I mean, the snakes, I guess I have. But the, the wild bear, the mountain lions, and all that stuff. Uh, the only four-legged animal that I have seen that was of any type of danger was a raccoon was on our picnic table once and he uh, you know the only reason I say danger is he might have had rabies I don't know but he was licking our, our dishes trying to keep them clean for us in the middle of the night one night woke me up but as far as bears the only bear I've ever seen now I recognize and I'm not on the west and but the only bear I've seen was out in town driving as far as being in the campground they weren't there. I mean, it, it, we spent the entire winter in Florida with lots of bears. The entire summer last year in Virginia with lots of bears. This is what they keep telling me, but I've never seen one. But I do want to come down to more practical things that are real dangers. Here we are in September in Missouri. And one of the things that, you know, they say, oh, I've seen a rattlesnake here or there, or that kind of thing. Actually, I see snakes a couple few times a week. And I've been all over the country, all over the east side of the United States. Now, I recognize I'm not in the west, but I do know the snakes are out there too. In Missouri right now, it's September, and copperheads are the big deal right now. Uh, they're starting to have their little babies, and copperhead babies are just as poisonous and dangerous as, uh, as adult copperheads. I recognize that copperheads are not notorious for killing people. There's very few people that die from copperheads. But copperhead bites are the most common snake bites there are more so than rattlesnakes or anything so it is a very dangerous thing and they can and will make you very sick we've been here in missouri for just a little over a month now and i bet i've seen 10 copperheads little baby ones i haven't seen any adult ones this year but uh, a couple years ago i mean there, the adult ones were everywhere a couple years ago carolyn and i w were walking just at dusk we were getting back to the house and there was one crossing the street i mean they're very prevalent and I know a lot of people say, well, I don't need to worry about non-poisonous snakes. Well, you do when you're out here because if you do step on one and they do bite you, and I know they will bite you, you're at risk of getting infection and different bacterial infections, different things. Now, the one thing I've never seen in my entire life was a snake in a tree until I got into Florida and there was a little rat snake. He was hanging out in a tree. So, I mean, you've got to look above you now. So snakes are everywhere. Another thing that I'm always concerned about is ticks. I mean, you can't avoid ticks and, you know, you spray your legs as much as you can, but it's there, we always have ticks on us, always. I'm sure everybody is aware of the dangers of tick bites. You get Lyme disease and, and you're gonna be sick. I've known people that's been hospitalized near on deathbed because of Lyme disease. So Lyme disease is a serious problem. And, and it's one of these things that, you know, you're gonna get bit enough, you're gonna eventually get it, I think. I mean, we're always getting ticks. I had one on my underarm just yesterday, uh, one on my leg, they're just, and you're always looking for them. And since you don't take a lot of showers, you know, you take a shower about every two to three days out of here because you're trying to conserve water, it, you're not even getting them rinsed off. You, that is one of the things when you're in a stick and brick, when you go out in the woods and you come back in the house, first thing you do is take, take clothes off, get a new change of clothes and take a shower and get all that off you. But the best you can do out here is just look and see if you got any ticks on you. Okay, now this one seems a little odd, but this one's actually, I think, probably one of the more dangerous things you can have happen out here. And, and nobody talks about this. Limbs falling from trees. First time I ever heard a, a, a significant tree fall, I mean a, a tree fell, was in Tennessee, uh, middle of the night, and I mean it crashed hard. And uh, that is when I became completely aware dying limbs and dying trees are a serious issue out here and you're always going to have to start looking up when you park your camper look up see if you see any limbs that fall off as soon as a storm comes by you're going to want to you're going to see those limbs popping down i mean it's been raining today i was just walking 
up this hill right here and I walked by a tree and within 30 seconds after I walked by it I heard the thud and I looked behind me and sure enough there was a limb that fell from the tree I just had passed. Here, right here parked next to us, there are two trees that are down. Now the last thing, I know is very controversial apparently. I mean, every time I bring it up, it's like I'm some sort of weirdo that I, I, I'm the only person on the planet that is talking about this one. The big YouTubers keep saying that you are not in danger of other human beings. The, the human beings out here are perfectly safe. They're all great people. They all came out here for the same reasons. You don't have to worry about them. Well, I mean, I, I don't know how to tell you any other way. That is not true. Either I'm the most unlucky person in the world, or it's just not true. And I'm going with it's just not true. Because I've heard other YouTubers, now that I'm starting to talk about it, kind of start breaking the ice on this. But people are, are, are pretty dangerous. And I keep talking about the two stories. I mean, in a year, we've got two stories that we were absolutely either victimized or terrified of being victimized. The, the, the one that everybody knows about is the pop-up campfire. We went to town to talk to the ranger to just research being campsite host. When we came back, our pop-up camper had been burned to the ground by somebody. We found out the reason they burned it was they went inside the camper to steal our food and to cover up the crime. They burned down our home. You know, that is a huge problem in my book that, you know, these large YouTubers, and I know that one of them actually knows that it happened to us, and instead of those ch that channel saying, okay, we know of a, a channel that was victimized by people, that channel keeps talking about how there's no problems out here. So, so that channel is literally overlooking w at least one danger that they absolutely know about to say it's perfectly safe out here. It's not perfectly safe because it has happened. The second uh, thing that happened to us, we were quite frightened of. Uh, we, we didn't run into a mentally ill person who was very upset. He was going to make sure that we knew he was upset. He was pacing back and forth and swatting his hat and just upset and upset and upset, just cussing. We left. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe. Click like if you like the video and happy travels.